Hey guys, Moose here. Um, and today I wanted to make a video. Uh, I haven't made any videos since uh, my North Star rant. And uh, yeah, I just want to go through why exactly I feel the way I do about the new season and Siege as a whole and where I stand with it and how I feel about it. Um, and I, you know, I'm an, I know that not a lot of people even watch my channel, which is fine, but I feel like this is the best way for me to really get my, uh, thoughts out. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to post it. Um, you agree, comment below. If you disagree, uh, please tell me, uh, tell me why and tell me what your thoughts are on the matters I'm going to discuss. Um, so I, I have not taken a break from Siege. Um, sure there was a, like a week or two where I didn't play the game, but I still was involved, you know, I still followed everything and all the new stuff. And I, I hadn't played in like two weeks and I get on the game when I logged off, I was gold three I get on the game. I'm fucking, I'm silver one or silver two because Ubisoft took even more ELO from me, which now totals at right around uh, 13 to 1400 ELO, 13 to 1400 ELO from beating closet cheaters and you know on the surface that's not that bad right you know but uh it, it sucks because that forces me to play in an elo that people just don't know the game as well and don't know the maps as well as i do so it makes it every single game is a 1v5 basically because like you can't rely on your teammates if you're solo queuing not even that but at the same time i for the majority of the season have had a stack of people to play with and despite that none of them getting banned i've still lost almost almost 1400 so <sighs> it would it would be different if during my placement games I didn't, you know, get all the way up to gold three alone, solo queue, and then stop playing for a bit, and then in two, three weeks, get back on the game and I'm fucking silver four, I have to grind back up to silver two alone because I lost ELO for beating cheaters. Grind back up to silver two because I didn't have a, a team to play with because everyone else, once they lost all that elo, they didn't fuck. They stopped playing the game. Um, but we uh, so I, so I grind back up silver two, and then I go on vacation for two weeks or a week. Come back, I'm in bronze three. Bronze. Lost like five six hundred elo. This game is one of my favorite games, if not my favorite game to play. And if they don't fix this ELO system, I'm not gonna play it anymore. Uh, sure, I might hop on and play placements every season, which is just 10 games. But what's the point in investing time and, you know, spending money on some of the elite skins that you can get. What's the point in wasting my life playing, uh, you know, because a game takes about 20 minutes. You play four games, that's that's, um, that's 80 minutes of your life. It's an hour and 20 minutes. I could spend an hour and 20 minutes doing anything else if none of it means anything. It, take, for example, the fact that I lost five, 600 ELO. How many games is that when you're earning 40 
ELO a game? How many games just got n nullified? How many hours of my life did they nullify? That Those didn't mean anything. All those hours that I played those games doesn't mean anything. I guess the, the, the point I'm trying to make here is that despite me loving this game and investing so much time into it and putting a lot of effort into trying to be better at it there's just what what would push someone to actually want to play this game in a competitive way sure pro league but pro league is a completely different animal than just playing casually you know playing in a ranked game ranked setting you know and it's it's and you, like i can't even play the console version in a competitive manner because you play console every game someone is cheating you know they either they either have a zim or they have a strike pack or they have a cronus you know just something something annoying that just should not be allowed and and i understand that you know there's a difference in um like, you know, that, that like it registers as a normal controller, which, you know, I understand is a problem. But when people get reported, I know for a fact that there are people that I played with in, on my team. Um, I didn't know how to Zim. Um, and they're still not banned. They're still on my friends list. I see them on my PS4 every day playing Rainbow. I know they're cheating, and they've not been banned for it. The state of console is a absolute shit shit show. There is no purpose in trying to play console siege. There's just not because the second that you do anything, you know, the second you get in a game, it's either you know you're playing against cheaters or you know you have to deal with your teammates. Maybe they. Um, they're in a party chat. They don't, they're not in game chat and they can't hear you what you're saying. You know, I know that I have lost games, lost a lot of games because rather than have something like, uh, you know, COD used to do, I think uh, maybe COD 4 or Modern Warfare, there was forced game chat or certain game modes. Why not bring that back? Why, why not force people to play a game like that in game chat? There's no point in playing a five-player team-based game with two people in a party chat. And then coming out of the party chat whenever you lose to complain, but then going right back and being the reason that there's no communication. The, it's horrible. There's no purpose anytime you play it you play one two games and you're bored out of your fucking mind because you're losing not because anybody is better than you but simply due to the fact that your teammates don't listen or they can't hear you and then on pc with the elo rollback because console obviously doesn't have cheaters but then with the elo rollback on pc even if you beat shit tier wall cheaters they take that elo why uh, just doesn't doesn't make sense but that's uh I, that's all i wanted to say for today today's video uh there may be gameplay there may not i, I genuinely don't know i haven't recorded anything in a while so it may have game I, I don't there, there should be something on the screen um but comment down below what you think give me your thoughts um i will be playing next season's placements and i'll try to make a video but if the season is in, anywhere near as annoying and shitty for me as this season uh, more than likely it'll be my last season um, i really don't want that to be the case but if that's what happens, that's what happens. And there's really nothing I can do about it. Uh, 
the love that I had and still to a degree have for the game it's very quickly being turned into a chore to even want to play it so that's uh that's it for me you guys have a good day leave a like comment down below what you think and if you're new subscribe i can't promise it'll be siege content going forward um the new battlefield looks fucking great i'm very excited for that so yeah maybe i just turn into a variety channel um there should be links to my twitch on my youtube page if you want to come follow me on twitch i don't stream often but when i do stream it's it's a pretty good time just um yeah give you guys a heads up and uh yeah moose